I'm Jada Silva, and I'm going to be answering your questions. Who's the DJ in the dressing rooms? So before a game, it'll probably be Andy Vyman. He'll be on the he'll be on the uh, speaker. Um, he's got a few good mixes, to be fair. So yeah, he gets the he gets the tunes going before the game. He plays a bit of everything, actually. He caters to everybody. He's decent. He's decent. Usually, um, closer to kickoff will be a lot of house housey kind of kind of vibe to, to get the boys ready and, and pumping. Do you prefer playing in a back four or a back five? I don't mind actually. I don't really have too much of a preference as long as I'm playing. Yeah, whether it's in a back four or a back five, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter to me. Um, as long as I'm on the pitch, I'm happy. Best song to listen to before a game? I don't really listen to anything in my headphones, for being honest. I just enjoy like what's going on in the change room. I'd say like driving in the morning or driving in to the stadium, I like to listen to like a, a lot of like rap stuff, like Lil Baby, someone like that, just to, to get me going, get me in the mood for, for, for the day. What's your favourite kit this year? I think everyone will say the, the grey and orange one. I think everyone will say that, if I'm being honest. I think all the boys enjoy that, but to me, I like, I like the home one. What's your go-to Nando's order? That's funny, because I had Nando's last night. But I switched it up a bit. I switched it up now and then. I had a pitta, the new Fino pitta. Yeah, it's nice, decent, that. Perry Tamer, bit of corn on the side. It's corn! And some uh, sweet potato wedgies. Can't go wrong. Who has the best and worst haircut in the squad? Oh. There's a couple bad haircuts. TC is getting better with each trim. I'll give that to him. He's getting better with each trim. There were some questionable ones, questionable ones before. He's still up there for worst. Thomas Callas has got to be up there for worst as well, ain't he? Let's be honest. Best trim, Naki's always got a nice trim. He's always sharp. That guy gets a haircut every like five days. If he can, he'll probably get it three days. So we'll give it to Naki. We'll give it to Naki. Who's your favourite NBA team and why? My favourite player is Kyrie Irving, so wherever he is, that's my favourite team. So right now, Brooklyn Nets. A few of the boys. I know Zach's big on his basketball. He loves, loves the Celtics. Who is better at table tennis, Scotty or Joe Williams? If I'm being honest, I've seen Scotty beat Joe more than I've seen Joe beat Scotty. And I know Joe's going to hate this, but I'm going to have to say Scotty. And Scotty will tell you, it's death for him. Joe's, Joe, I've seen Joe lose a lot of games. A lot of games. So it's got, it's got to be Scotty. Does Joe Williams ever pay for his own food? That is a good question. No, he doesn't. Somehow he always gets out of it. I don't know how. I've paid for a lot of his meals. Um, and if, if I'm being honest, I've stopped going out with him because uh, I'm getting sick of it. Favourite restaurant in Bristol? I'd probably have to say Pasture. Um, a lot of the boys like it. Nice steakhouse, quality, quality food in there. So try not to get in there too much, obviously. But <laughs> nah, that's probably my favourite. Oh my God, this is a good question. In Stuart Little, how come Stuart can speak to the humans and to the cats? but the cat can't speak directly to the humans? That is a good question. A very good question. Why can Stuart Little speak to the humans? <sighs> Great question. Milk then cereal or cereal then milk? Cereal then milk, innit? Surely, surely. Unless you're heating up your milk. But I don't do that. I'm not sure who heats up their milk. But if you are heating up the milk, you're a weirdo. Funniest teammate? I'll probably say Kane Wilson. He's only just come in by that guy. He's too funny. We got we get on really well, so he's always making me laugh, man. So I'd say Kane Wilson, yeah. What is your favourite biscuit? Oh. Do you know what's an elite biscuit? A caramel chocolate digestive. Wow. That's an elite biscuit. Best moment in a city shirt. Probably probably my goal, Stoke away last year. You know, a lot of people all still say it's a cross, but from being honest, I've just caught the keeper right now. I gave him the eyes, knuckleballed it straight in. So yeah, I'd say probably that. Um, getting the winner is quite it's quite late on. Um, away win, that was good, and the celebrations were good as well. So yeah, probably probably that. Freddo's or caramel Taz chocolate bars? I'd say Freddo, man. Freddo, but flipping hell, it's gone up in price, isn't it? Gone up in price. But yeah, nah, probably a Freddo classic, man. Favorite game of your career so far? I'll probably say. A couple of seasons ago, a couple of years ago, we played West Brom at home. We was flying, and I think we went three 0 up. That was on Sky as well. And I got man the match. I'll probably say that was my favourite. That was just a that was, that was a sick game, man. It was just the atmosphere was good. Yeah, it was just a good game to be a part of. What was your goal against Stoke last season across to our shot? Well, it was a shot, wasn't it? I don't know how you can say it was a cross. If you really watch it back, watch it back properly and take it in. That is a shot. That's all your questions. Thanks for watching, guys.